And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. We send it inside the octagon, we find Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Bruce the Dragon! Now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Daniel Golden Boy Dahuba. Ready, to fight. ready. Good. Well, what a visual this is, Bruce Lee, ready to go for round one. The founding father of modern mixed martial arts. It's hard to simulate his speed and his striking in training. And I think that's something that has been a big focus for the opponent coming in here tonight. Quick with his hands, quick with his feet, and obviously a guy who gets off to a very good start more often than not. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one. Nice straight right lands. Punches in bunches as he lands another combination there. Really doing a nice job stringing his shots. He's doing a great job of stringing the shots together and also just mixing up the target and the attacks. Great job finding different places for his strikes to land. Lee going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. Well, this striker has come out swinging early, and you know his style is based on aggression, and largely it's worked out for him today. It's worked out phenomenally. He's fighting, he's fighting exactly as he needs to if he wants to win this fight. All right, so one minute into the fight, and I'm not sure these fighters realize that we got three or five rounds tonight. No feeling out process at all. From the moment this fight started, these two gentlemen were ready to knock each other's heads off. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, head kick attempt. Head movement prevents it from landing. Everything works off of the jab, doubles up on it there. He's smelling out around the jaw area, so we'll keep an eye on that as this fight continues. Just over three minutes to go. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's throwing. I mean, punches in bunches. He's doing a great job. Able to check that kick as well. Keep your hands up for me. Come on now. Let's go. Just a slip there. Oh, nice left hook. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do, eventually it will show itself. And right now, it's starting to show. Back to the jab now, no good. Nice job defensively, he blocked that punch. Well, he lands another strike there, DC, and no surprise, the swelling only getting worse. It's getting worse. You know, we talked about this very early, how he needed to change something. He hasn't changed it, and now the swelling is starting to get back. Man. Oh, I think he's hurt again. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Nicely done as he lands a kick to the leg. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. All right, so some fatigue striking, I guess you would call it here. He is landing, but just not inflicting much damage because his stamina is on low. And there it is again, targeting that swelling. Why would you not, right? You doled out all this damage. Might as, go, might as well go right back to it. Well, especially if your opponent is not going to move his head. He's still trying to go out on his shield. He's, he's so stubborn in trying to prove that he's tough. It's really costing him right now. 
Well, he has stayed technical, but he is really starting to chew up the opposition now. He came out super aggressive, as aggressive really as we've ever seen him in the UFC, and now starting to uptick the volume again. Nice start here in round one. Oh, he's got his back. Oh, how about the slam there? That one cannot feel good. Looks like a potential submission attempt here. Oh, he's got that submission locked in. Oh, he escapes. He got out. I mean, wow, that is great submission defense. Oh, submission attempts and bunches tonight. Oh, gosh, choke locked and low. Oh, how on God's green oak did he get out? Nice reversal on the ground. Great job. Oh, tight submission attempt now with the ghost. Oh, that's getting in deep now. That's real deep, John. He's got to be careful. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth. The submission defense wins this transition. All right, so there's the end of the round. A lot of high-level action, and if you like the takedown game, as my boy Daniel Cormier does, you enjoyed that round. It's like we're watching the NCAA wrestling Ready tournament. Fight. It's takedown Run. after takedown. He's fighting his fight. He's able to change levels, drive into his opponent, and secure takedown after takedown. All right, next round is underway, and man, is he tough to submit, right? No lack of effort, but unable to get that submission in the previous round. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic, which allows him to defend with the right frame of mind, and that's why he's never been submitted. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Oh, nice punch from the clinch by Lee. Establishing the jab here. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attack. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other side. Yeah, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that... And back to his feet. Shots landing on both sides here. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You gotta go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You cannot back off and take your time. He's right for the picking. <laughs> well, as soon as he goes with that high guard, he pays for it to the body. You see the bruises really starting to accumulate. In the beginning of the fight, you think, I gotta protect my head at all costs. Right now, I believe that this guy has to worry about his body. Look at how red. Oh! And he comes through with a big knee. Oh, crippling knee to the body! Looked like it did stun him a little bit. Damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. All right, so the head damage continues to land. And at this point, man, got to think the ringside position is even getting antsy to check it out. Oh, yes. Yeah. You can tell that they want to check it out. And that's up to his opponent. Putting together a great game plan. For staying on that face, making sure that when he saw the swelling start, he continued to drive him down that path to where he is right now, where he's almost un unrecognizable. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands... Oh, 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 oh. Wow. Back to the feet now. Oh. oh, my goodness, what a fight. Just out of range with that strike. Left eye. Starting to shut a little bit. That bear's watching. 
Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. An elbow! Big knee to the body! Looks pretty tight to me. Oh, and if you got you right there. You gotta be kidding me, he's out. He's worked. Come on, I'll stand it up. Ooh, you look at Temp now, and it looks locked in. Look at that, that's tight. Great job maintaining position over submission. Very smart. Great fight IQ. Lands an elbow. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Another strike lands right to that targeted spot. The swelling continues to get worse, and I would not be surprised if the referee calls in the ringside position to take a look. Ground and pound the hammer. Mark Coleman would be proud. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Making all these shots Watch count. That. Two uh, rounds in the books. Uh, stop. All right, so the cut man is hustling in, and the ringside physician you can see there is monitoring the action as well. The swelling on the mouth is getting out of control, and we might actually have a jaw fracture here, DC. Focus, okay? Listen, you are not tired. All right, as they attend to the damaged fighter, we will re-rack some replays for you. A lot of damaging strikes landed by the opposition in that previous round. Well, him just not really paying attention on the defensive side has made his opponent look like an absolute world beater. He's a good fighter, but he has never looked this good. And that is, in, that is partly because his opponent is not defending. You ready to fight? You ready? Third round underway. This crowd is going sick after what they saw in that previous round. Truly an all-out brawl, several moments on both sides, and the fight is still going on. Incredible. Great moments by both of these fighters. Let's see if you continue down the path and really try and finish this fight. Straight right is there. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. That's how you... Oh, he got him real good, too. Man! Oh, that's big. Straight right hand now, just misses. Well, a lot of fighters say there's no worse feeling on fight night than when your cardio abandons you. Oh, he hurt again! to get some. Setting up for another submission now. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. Attack the long ball. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Oh, that's got to be discouraging as he gets right back up again. Try to establish that jab. Just over three minutes to go in our third and final round. You cannot take those leg kicks clean like that. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Well, you gotta think it's only a matter of time. Yup, referee stopping the action here. That swelling is getting out of control. This might be the end, DC. It's bad. I mean, it's a lot of swelling. And it's the damage that he has taken over the course of the fight that is making him swell to a point that I don't know if he can continue. 
He's taking a close look. Going back to the referee. Looks as though he's going to allow the action to continue. Fans like that decision, but for the compromised fighter, maybe got to take some chances. He's going to take a lot of chances now because he's got to rush. He cannot be as patient as he intended to be with that amount of swelling. Oh, flush knee to the body. He's got the length advantage in this fight and certainly made it count in that exchange. Nice job to get inside and get the single collar tie. So he lands a combination of knees here on the clinch. All of those going right to the body. Got to do something defensively here. This could be the beginning of the end. You got to protect the midsection. You got to get the hands out across the body so that that knee is not land between. You better be aware. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus needs to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He oh! Back to his feet. Oh, nice high kick. was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. And here we go inside the octagon for the official decision to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called to stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 27 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Daniel Golden Boy, So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout.